play cricket in the States. Not quite, no. No. Cricket is an insect, not a game. <laughs> I'm just so like, the come out your head. me is... <laughs> Ew, the sound that made. Another day, another vlog. Yeah, we're here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's a brisk afternoon. We were supposed to wake up early, but we ended up- We had to up, do some shopping, yeah. We ended so. up chilling out. Um, but we're doing a walk today. We're walking from Maidenhead all the way to- Cookham. Cookham. Yeah. So, so it's walking a long along walk. the river. It's a beautiful river. Yeah. Um, today is a day where the weather finally is cooling down in the UK, so. It's finally fall, guys. I had to go and buy a coat because I realized I didn't have one. Yes, yeah, so as Hannah was saying, it's finally autumn now. So it's cold. I don't know yeah. if you guys can hear the wind blowing, but yeah, I mean, it's one of the cooler days. What what temperature is it in Celsius? It's, it's about eight degrees, seven degrees. So I think it's like fifty. No, it's like forty-five. Okay, it's pretty cold. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty chilly. I have gloves on, but yeah, we really love this walk because it's a long walk. It's like eight and a half miles, but we're along the river. Yeah, and it's like super pretty. Willow trees. Yeah. And yeah, so it's getting colder. So we've got to put on our jackets, but I actually like it because the sun is still shining. Okay, this is my favorite house because it's really pretty, pretty and manicured nice. They have a whole bunch of rosemary. It has CCTV, but I don't know if you can see over the hedge. I think they also have a pool. <laughs> we can dream, can't we? One day. I was looking at fish. George spotted some fish down in there. And I think these things are so beautiful. What do you call them, George? Pompous grass? Uh, I think they're reeds. Or reeds? Yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. Pompous reeds. I Sometimes I, George and I, when we're on these long walks, we like to talk about like where we'll be living in a few years time, you know? <laughs> yeah. Or just imagine, I guess. <laughs> it's fun to kind of take inspiration from some houses that you see like just walking around. Well, you never know what you're gonna run into. And imagine find. like what you're gonna make your own house like, you yeah. know? So I think we both agreed that we kind of want a house in the countryside, right? Yeah, I wouldn't want to buy a house in the city, no, no. way. We would probably rent in the city one day, just maybe yeah. for a few years or months, but you can't beat like the beauty of nature and being outside because I think that's when we're the happiest. <laughs> Definitely for me, yeah. George needs land. Does it feel like rain? No. Oh. It is. Maybe. It's still sunny though. <laughs> Sunshine, right? England. <laughs> Okay, so you can see the sign, but this is the Big Daddy house. It has, it almost looks like it should be a hotel. It has like this river that flows into its property. This is the public path, but that's their private bridge. Okay, so that's the house. And when I, we were here last, the mom was feeding her baby right in the patio because the kitchen is like huge and it's right there. But could you imagine that being your home? And that being, could you imagine, like, oh, that's like, that would be so much upkeep. Yeah. Honestly, sometimes we see homes like this and we're like, wow, that's impressive. But I don't know if It'd we can manage a house just that large. It, right. Yeah, we always talk about like, we want a big enough house where we can have kids and like settle down. But, but I think, yeah, 20 not... bedrooms might be a bit much. <laughs> yeah, 20 bedrooms is a little excessive, isn't it? <laughs> So for so many of us, 2020 has definitely been a year that has tested us and we have decided to obviously stay in our own country, just happy to be together. But one thing that really truly makes us happy and keeps us sane, especially this year, is getting out and going on these walks. So this is just some footage from the walk. We absolutely love getting out and just moving our bodies because we think it does wonders, especially for our mental health during these times. As you can see, the leaves were also changing and turning into red and orange, really pretty fall colors. So it was just overall a really beautiful day to get out on a walk. So here we have Clevedon House. 
Well, this is like the boathouse, I think. But um, but yeah, up. It is up there. Yeah, it's way up there. But yeah, this is what it looks like from the other side of the river. Yeah. Really? And then we got a boat. It's like a national trespass. You can park at Clevedon and you can walk on the other side as well. Yeah, and there's the boat. George Olga. And I, George and I need to get a national <laughs> trespass, don't we? Because we go all the time to these places. Yeah, we these do. Estates. So yeah, so if you go to these places and you you know, spend money at the car parks and stuff, it makes total sense to to get a pass because if you go into these places more than six times a year, then you make money back. Yeah, because it costs 10 pounds to park and I think the pass is 60 pounds. Yeah, so. so definitely, def fingers crossed, if I ever end up moving here, which we hope is soon, um, we were gonna get one for the holidays because I think we would make really good use of it. We walk all yeah. the time. It's a good thing to have and um, free parking. We know how we are. Well, we know how Hannah is at free parking. I love it, man. Get, get, get me free parking any day. What are you watching? Some cricket. <laughs> Some guys playing cricket over there. We don't play cricket in the States. Not quite, no. No. Cricket is an insect, not a game. <laughs> okay, so this is our favorite part of the walk. It's about the halfway mark. <laughs> yeah, after what, like two and a half miles of walking? Yeah. Right. We, we are now headed to a nice little coffee and tea place, um, which is in, what's this town called again? I always forget. Cooka. Cooka. Um, but yeah, it's a cute little coffee and tea shop. We either, depending on the time of day, we either get coffee and tea or a, a bite to drink. eat yeah. or a cold drink. Today, definitely want something warm. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go there, we're almost there, and then check in with you with our warm tea. <laughs> So actually, usually we go to the tea shop, but Mr. Cooper's is open and we've been wanting to try this. Do you want to give it a try? Yeah. I think so. Okay, we lied. We decided to go to the tea shop because they have seating and they have a latte for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What are we going to order? You got some tea coming? I haven't ordered yet. <laughs> Cake and some water. Well deserved of the two mile hike. Yeah, then we gotta do another few miles back. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay guys, we just wanted to check in because last we were on the vlog, our camera died. On yeah, the we were walking back from Cookham and we tried to record, but yeah, camera was dead, so. Boop. But we made it home, it was a really good walk, and it's just really good to get outside. And yeah. it's obviously getting colder here, it's fall is totally <laughs> upon us. So we are in the fall spirit, and we were thinking yeah. today we would go... Get some pumpkins! Yeah, yeah we're gonna do some pumpkin carving. I haven't yeah. done that for ages. Yeah, we want to carve some pumpkins yeah. and just kind of get in the mood. And <laughs> it's getting colder here, so we're gonna head out to the shop and just find some pumpkins and yeah. carve them. Let's do it! Um, so yeah, let's go do that! Guys, this weather is just so miserable. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not pleasant. Okay, we're gonna go get some pumpkins. Carving a little bit early, we're excited. Mm. Um, and we have to look up some like designs because I haven't carved pumpkins in years. I love roasting the seeds though. It's so good if you roast the seeds. If you guys don't roast the seeds, you don't know what you're missing out, girls. I've never had roasted and boys. pumpkin seeds. Is See what I mean? He's crazy. We're gonna roast them. They're so good roasted. They're like a little snack, a little salty snack. Mmm. <laughs> Do you get a big pumpkin babe or a small one? Big, obviously. I like it little. So I can ones. show you more of my artistic flair. Oh, okay. <laughs> you look so artsy with those glasses on. You look like <laughs> someone who like has a pottery class on the side. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're heading heading off to the shop. <laughs> get a pumpkin. Alright, so you made it to the garden center. And we really love the garden center, but I don't even know if they have pumpkins here. Yeah, we want to get George's mom a little gift just as a thank you for having us the house for so long. And pumpkins! Let's look. We're at the food portion and it's already Christmas season. We have the light. Let's get in there. The, the chocolate. Gingerbreads! <laughs> Here we are, looking for pumpkins. 
<laughs> we're seasoned, uh, like... <gasps> Guys, I haven't been so excited my whole life. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Ooh, I love this tree. Look. They have so many bow balls. Christmas. <laughs> I truly can't even begin to tell you guys how much I love garden centers and stores. First of all, we're already in Christmas spirit. Oh yeah. Second of all, like, it's so just peaceful and pretty and there's so much to see here. Um, and they have a restaurant here, which in the summer is outside, but now it's As inside. It's raining. <laughs> they have a beautiful restaurant. We're having a hard time finding something for George's mom. They don't yeah. have pumpkins here either, so we're gonna have to go to another That's shop. That's a good point, they don't, do they? But we'll keep looking. <laughs> keep looking and admiring all the plants. <laughs> okay, we secured the last two semi-decent pumpkins. Yeah. So we got those. Now we need to find <laughs> some snacks. Yeah, okay. Candy. Okay, so we got our pumpkins. Last pick of the litter, honestly. There was <laughs> like pretty shit. <laughs> maybe 10 left and half of them were like moldy. So the ones we got were okay, not great, but. They could um, use some love. Yeah, well they're gonna use some cute designs. Um, we also finished picking up the rest of George's mom's gifts, so that's good. And then we are gonna go home. It just started to pour rain. Yeah. And one thing you need to know about George's mom is that she does not like a mess. And so we know that pumpkin carving <laughs> is not clean. Can get messy. And so we were thinking of doing it outside, but since it's raining, we'll have to wait. So tomorrow's supposed to be a dry day. So we will pick this back up tomorrow in the morning when we carve our pumpkins with you guys. Hopefully, no rain, right? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little tired. <laughs> George is focused on driving. But He's yeah. a good driver. So hopefully tomorrow there's no rain and we can make all the mess. Yeah, so check back in tomorrow. All right, we got our pumpkin carving station. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> We're wearing shirts that we don't care if they get dirty. I'm gonna set you guys up so you can watch us try to carve these bad boys. Okay guys, we are carving pumpkins. It's early. We just woke up. We have to switch. Disclaimer, because I'm left-handed, I have to go on this side. It's, and like, it's like every time we eat. Yeah, and we're wearing icky shirts because we don't care if they get yeah. messed up. So I don't even know what design I'm doing. Do you know what design you're doing? No, nah, I think we just got gut them. And then we got them first. <laughs> George is a little bit better at this stuff than me. Just be careful. Oh. Man. Guys, the other day George actually sliced his finger. Didn't you? It really scared me. Maybe maybe you should do this part, honey. Huh? Maybe, maybe you should do this no, part. No, you just gotta let you go put it in and then just stab. Okay. okay. Sorry, also the, the washing machine is on in the background of this. But there's nothing we can do about that, okay? I'm really excited. I hope these pumpkins are not gross. And stuff. Halloween is not as much of a thing in the UK as it is in the States. Like, when we went to Tesco's yesterday, there was absolutely no candy. <laughs> it wasn't busy, was it? No. No one was... No one... Although, we literally got the last bunch of pumpkins because they were all rotten. You take the... Like, kind of like do that and then you put the icky bit. Yeah, you can do it after. I'm just gonna. Do you know what I mean? You kind of just do it like that and you save the seeds. I love seeds. Pumpkin seeds, um, sunflower seeds, they're all so good. <sighs> there we go. Wow, that was actually good and clean. And then, hold but on. you're not supposed to cut it that small. I cut it how I want. This is my pumpkin. Okay. Uh, where does it go? Trying to get us all the seeds so we can make. Yeah, look, it fits. Cute one! You did so good, babe. Brother, I wish they had like tops. I know. Next year, we were really rushed. I mean, fall is. Literally. Well, yeah, we had. I don't we know what happened. This. this season just like whoop, went right through us. Okay, you can cut this now. Ew, there's a hair. We're not eating these. We're eating the seeds. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean... Okay, let me get my seeds. I'll cut your one a little thicker. Yeah, please do. There you go. Okay, 
Your dad wants me to make him pumpkin soup. I'm like, mate, I've never well, made pumpkin soup in my life. Pumpkin pie. What? No, he wants soup. Pumpkin soup? Yeah. I'm like, um, sure, let me just whip out my recipe that I know. He asks me every day now. <sighs> I made a soup, you guys. Like, I made a broccoli leek soup. Potato broccoli leek soup. Yeah, which that's is nice. Quite, really, really good. But ever since, ever since then, like now, George's dad won't stop talking about He just about wants soups. one. Yeah. <laughs> so like literally every day he's like, "Oh, where's my soup?" I'm like, "Um, I don't know how to make." I think this is going soup. all right so far. Yeah, I'm getting all the seeds. I'm happy about uh. the seeds. For a small pumpkin, there's a lot. Oh no, honey, it fell off again. My what? Your hair. Just tug it behind my ear. I am trying to. A little bit more force. Just really get it back there. Okay, okay. Well, what's your favorite holiday, guys? Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite holiday, babe? Mine? Yeah. Favorite holiday? Yeah. I like Christmas. It's just a joyous time of the year. Yeah. I like Christmas too, and I really like... <laughs> This, everyone's gonna be confused when I say this, but I really like Passover. So I'm Jew. I'm like half Jewish, half Christian. My mom's Christian and my dad's Jewish, so technically I'm not Jewish because I think your mom has to be Jewish. But I do kind of consider myself more Jewish Ooh. than Christian. Anyways, I grew up celebrating both Christmas and Hanukkah, and I Passover love Christmas. Passover is fun. But Passover is great. Passover is literally like the Thanks another Thanksgiving. Yeah. And I I really do love. Thanksgiving. I just don't just like really do enjoy Passover. But Christmas, like I think the spirit of Christmas. And you know what the best place to be is during Christmas? London. New York and London. I feel like any big city, yeah. But London is literally so magical and it's so sad this year, you guys. Everything's going back in the lockdown. Yeah. We are not gonna have a Christmas here. Watch out, are you We're ready for the, the money shot? Ew. That one. The fact that I'm just Stripping like, this, this is out, not you're ending me is... <laughs> <laughs> Ew, the sound that made. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna keep getting these and then we'll come back and show you guys as we start to carve like, the finished product. <laughs> so. They're done. We're finished. We're finished. <laughs> we'll show you our finished results. Oh. <laughs> I think yours is better. No, hun, I love yours with the scar. So George had a scar in his pumpkin. So you put it through the eyes of his pumpkin <laughs> to make it look like a scar. And I did like the Hello. Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas. Shales. Oh, that's good. Ah! All right, guys, we're going to close out the vlog here. Sorry that the washing machine is spinning so it might be a little yeah. noisy but we hope that you guys enjoyed. enjoyed and we hope you guys have a really happy fall and halloween and we'll yeah. pick up soon on the next vlog yeah have a good one bye